Okay, this video will show you how to do um, hypothesis testing using the test statistic versus the Z critical value. Okay, it's a different method. Everything is almost everything's the same except instead of comparing P to alpha, we're gonna we're gonna compare the test statistic to the Z critical value. Now, I encourage you, if you haven't seen my video in how to determine rejection regions for Z-critical value versus test statistic, I suggest you stop right now, go watch that first, and then come back and watch me through this problem because it won't make sense really what I'm telling you, or at least it won't make as much sense. It'll be much more clearer if you watch that video first. So go back. It's in the same region as this video right here, and it's and it's a little sketch that I did on my own pad, my, my computer pad, uh, test statistic versus Z critical value. Just stop that, watching this right now, go watch that, and then come back and watch this, okay? So assuming you have watched that video, all right, the test claimed that the GPA of night students is larger than 3.3 at this 0.1 significance value. Well, you know what? The only, well, first of all, we know that the, Alternative hypothesis has to be greater than 3.3. We know that for a fact because the alternative hypothesis never has any quality in it and the, alter uh, or the alternative hypothesis never has any quality in it and the, the null hypothesis always does. And the only one that fits that category is this one here. The mean is greater than 3.3. Now, how they determine from this wording that the null is equal to 3.3 or less than 3.3, you know, I'm, not, I'm really not sure. But it doesn't matter that this is the only one that has the, the mean greater than 3.3 in an alternative hypothesis. So we know that it's a right tail test. Okay. All right. <clears throat> okay. So now we go to our spreadsheet and I already filled it in. N is 50. We go here. Uh, 50 people. Okay. 50 people is our sample size. Uh, population mean is what they claimed up here in the original part of the problem. The sample mean is 3.35 right here. Okay, uh, standard deviation 0.04, which is right here, and alpha, which is the level of significance 0.10, which is right here. Okay, all right. Now we're not using p. P is irrelevant now. Your t value is 8.8388. Okay, and um, so this, since this is a right tail test, the critical value for a right tail test, <coughs> the z critical value. I should put z critical value there is 1.299, okay, one, if you run it to four places. And if you go back to my video that I asked you to look at prior to this, you'll see that for a right tail test, if the T value is greater than the Z critical value for a right tail test, you reject an all hypothesis, okay? You reject an all hypothesis. So that's it. So just to recap, if you want to just kind of run through all of these, for a left tail test, the T has to be less than the Z critical value for it to be rejected. For a right tail test, the T value has to be greater than the critical value for a right tail test. And for a two tail test, the T value has to be either less than the negative value or bigger than the positive value. And again, go watch my video on that and that'll be much more uh, helpful when you watch that.